Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. My name is Brennan Plays, and tonight we're kicking it off with the WWE Champion, Dean Ambrose, who will be out here tonight to address his payback matchup. Let's listen in. So tonight we find out who I will be facing at payback. Will it just be Triple H or will it be Triple H and Dolph Ziggler? Ziggler tonight faces Rusev one-on-one, -on -one, and I wish him all the best because it doesn't matter to me whether it's Triple H or whether it's Dolph Ziggler and Triple H because either way I'm walking out with my title. I have respect for both men, I really do. But when it comes to my championship, that respect is thrown out the window. Everything that I've ever wanted to achieve in my life is in this championship. I have worked, scratched, and clawed my way to win this title and I'm not going to let anybody take it away from me just yet. So Triple H and Dolph Ziggler, you better be ready for the fight of your life because you are going to have to kill me to take this title away because I am not going to submit or lay down for three seconds for anything. Well, hold that thought, Dean, because here comes your number one contender, Triple H. We know that Triple H will be facing Dean Ambrose. The question is, will Dolph Ziggler join him to make it a triple threat? But right now, it's about Dean Ambrose and Triple H, who is coming out here tonight, I suppose, to kind of rebuttal a little bit about what Dean Ambrose has said. Ambrose said that he respects Triple H, but he's going to do whatever it takes to keep that title around his waist, and he's not going to let anybody take it away from him. So Triple H yet to win the championship here in Universe Mode, and he's ready to go. He's uh, been very impressive over the last couple of months, ever since returning after the Royal Rumble. He's really started to step up and become the game that we used to know and love. And Triple H here tonight, what an opportunity he has at payback. We'll see what he has to say to Dean Ambrose. You know, Dean, it's kind of funny because normally I'm one of the guys who will come out here and talk and talk and talk, but tonight... I'm just ready for a fight. Dean, let me just let you know this. I have been a 14-time world champion. I have beaten everybody there is to beat. And Dean, at Payback, I am going to beat you and take back the title that has been mine over and over again for the last 20 years. So Dean, enough with the talk. I don't want to wait till Payback. So let's do this right now. Well, hang on a second. Triple H wants to fight. Both men face to face, eye to eye. Who is going to throw the first shot? The champion, Dean Ambrose. Oh, headbutts. Triple H and Ambrose coming after Triple H. Well, he wanted a fight, and Ambrose is going to give him one. But Triple H counters back with a couple of right hands of his own. Ambrose is in the corner. Triple H with a knee to Ambrose and takes him down. Well, here we go. Triple H, he was ready for our fight, and he's going to get one here tonight. They don't want to wait till payback. Both men throwing bombs at each other. It could be Triple H and Ambrose one-on-one -on -one at payback, or it could be Ziggler, Triple H and Ambrose. Ambrose with another right hand. He's got the better of Triple H right now, but Triple H, Spinebuster! Big time Spinebuster there to Dean Ambrose, and that might be... All she wrote, Triple H, pretty happy with himself right now. Ambrose getting back to his feet, but Triple H is going to back away. Yes, he will. Well, he got the upper hand in this encounter, and Ambrose is just reminding him that he's ready for him at payback. It's only a couple of weeks away. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Triple H getting the upper hand on that encounter against Dean Ambrose. What a matchup that will be. But before we get there, we need to know whether or not Dolph Ziggler will be joining them to make it a triple threat matchup. And this is the matchup that we have for you tonight in our main event. Dolph Ziggler goes one-on-one -on -one against Rusev. If Ziggler can win, he gets a WWE Championship matchup. But if he loses, he must defend the US title against Rusev at the Payback Pay-Per-View. What a matchup that will be. That will be our main event here tonight. But let's check out the rest of the card as it's Batista and Chris Jericho, the Beast Co, teaming up to take on Perfect Truth. Perfect Truth getting a nice victory last week over the Tag Team Champions. Seth Rollins goes one-on-one -on -one with Ryback. Tamina goes one-on-one -on -one with Sasha Banks. Naomi will be joining Tamina. A bit of an alliance has been formed there between Tamina and Naomi in recent weeks. Triple H, he will be in action tonight. He's coming up against Roman Reigns. Tough challenge there for Triple H. 
Kane goes one-on-one -on -one with Darren Young as they prepare the whole destruction for their tag team title defense. And the match that we just talked about, Rusev versus Dolph Ziggler, one-on-one. -on -one. Lana will be joining Rusev in that matchup as well. We haven't seen Lana for a bit. Good to see her back and back in Rusev's corner. That should be a hell of a contest and that probably will be one of the best matches we've seen in quite some time, we hope. Of course, it is the final of The Rock's best out of three challenge that he set for Dolph. Beast Code pick up a win over Perfect Truth. Ryback versus Seth Rollins. It is Ryback getting the win. So good victory there for the big guy. Still in the winner's circle a little bit there. And one-on-one -on -one between Reigns and Triple H. It is Roman Reigns picking up a win. So Reigns, of course, faces Rollins at Payback. So he's got a bit of momentum heading in as Darren Young upsets Kane as well. So the whole destruction slipping away a little bit as we get ready to move on to our Sasha Banks versus Tamina matchup. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Tamina, who of course is out there with Naomi, our Divas champion. And Naomi and Tamina, they've been forming a little bit of an alliance as of late. I'm not sure what's been going on between the two, but... Uh, they found a mutual respect for one another and supposedly, I guess, a mutual enemy in Sasha Banks. Naomi trying to do everything in her power to keep that tile around her waist. Can she do it? Well, she's got Tamina watching her back. So we'll see if they can knock off Sasha Banks and take her out of the title picture. Sasha Banks gaining a lot of momentum. Many believe that she's going to be the diva to knock off Naomi. And here comes Sasha Banks now. She comes out here tonight to take on Tamina. Obviously, Sasha Banks had an opportunity at Extreme Rules to be the Divas Champion. And everything kind of went wrong on that occasion. She would, you know, I suppose she had the title in reach, but she decided to let it go. And perhaps it was a strategy that she wanted to win it one-on-one. -on -one. No excuses against the Divas Champion. I doubt it. I just think Sasha Banks had a bit of a brain explosion on that occasion at Extreme Rules. And I guess she just messed up. So anyways, tonight she has an opportunity against Tamina and then Sasha Banks will meet Naomi one-on-one -on -one at Payback, of course. So this is a bit of a tune-up matchup to see how she goes and kind of build some momentum heading in towards the pay-per-view. She's been slipping away on a couple of occasions as of late, so a loss here tonight will certainly not do her much good at all. And I'm sure Naomi will try and have some sort of say in this matchup, we would assume. If not, just watch on and, and scout at her opponent who has only been around for... Perhaps, you know, maybe six weeks now or something along those lines. You know, at least just about a month. So, Sasha Banks, you don't really know all that much about her. So, if you're Naomi, you want to be out here scouting her out, finding her weaknesses, finding out how you can beat Sasha Banks because not many people have. Not many people have been able to beat Sasha Banks. And we haven't really found a great strategy to kind of be able to do it on a regular basis. So Naomi's probably out here tonight trying to analyze Sasha Banks, looking for a weakness, looking for a, an opening, a way to try and beat her as Sasha Banks takes down Tamina there. So a big matchup at Payback, one-on-one, -on -one, Naomi versus Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks, I suppose you could kind of compare it to Kevin Owens, you know, perhaps the fastest rising diva we've seen in some time here on the roster, only debuting last month and already has was looking towards two championship matches. She's staring down the barrel of two opportunities for the title. Will the second time be the lucky one or will perhaps she need a third one to be the charm? I'm not sure, but uh, Naomi is watching on right now as Sasha Banks did have her legs wrapped around Tamina, who picks up Tamina again. Sasha Banks tried to lock up with Tamina, but it is Tamina who has a hold of Sasha Banks and just shrugs her away. Tamina, a bit of a powerhouse here, and Tamina, yet to hold the Divas title here in Universe Mode, and uh, you have to wonder how long it will take before Tamina can get there. Will she get there at all? You know, she's always been a Diva right up there, getting wins, but not been able to string, string them together enough to get herself a an opportunity at that title. So perhaps a little bit of jealousy could be formed between Naomi and Tamina, I'm not sure, but at the moment, Tamina just wants to align herself with Naomi, and probably a smart decision is giving her a few more opportunities here on Raw and SmackDown as well as she throws Sasha Banks to the outside and now tries to pick up Sasha Banks but it didn't work out as Sasha Banks the Hurricane Rana takes down Tamina on the outside for extra emphasis as well but it's Tamina she tosses down Sasha Banks and again head first right into the mat the back of her head that is going to hurt and that's what Tamina's all about. She's all about just 
beating the hell out of her opponent and a half crab now applied by Sasha Banks. It's not going to be very effective because it needs to occur inside the ring. The referee's still counting. He's up to a count of seven as well. Tamina's got to get back in there. And she does. Sasha Banks pretty confident about herself right now. She's feeling as though she may have Tamina right where she wants her. She's uh, dominating this matchup as of right now. But it's Tamina trying to get back in there. And she has a hold of Sasha Banks. Might be looking to pick her up. Takes her down head first again. So Tamina looking very, very good in short Burst. That's the problem that with Tamina. You see some good moments of her, but she can't maintain it, which is perhaps the reason why she hasn't been able to win as many matches as she would have liked. And now it's Tamina. Back to her feet with Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has Tamina, and she'll put her against the ropes. And hang on a second. She's going to toss Tamina to the outside. Wait on a second. Here comes Sasha Banks. Here she comes. Flies over the top rope and connects. Sasha Banks over the top rope connects very nicely. Flying over the top and huge damage has been dealt. But she's not able to capitalize as Tamina picks up Sasha. Oh my goodness. That shoulder right into the back of Sasha Banks. And just tosses her down like a rag doll. That's what Tamina's all about. The strength that she has. And oh this time again. Just picks her up and slams her down. Let's her fall to perhaps her death because Tamina's trying to put an end to Sasha Banks here tonight for her friend Naomi to make sure things work out a little easier for the champion at the payback pay-per-view the referee counting again count of seven once again Sasha's got to get back in there count of eight but it's been broken up Sasha Banks back in Sasha now has Tamina and wait a minute Sasha Banks Thought she was going to set her, set her up for something there, but Tamina was able to counter and a shot to the midsection again. So what a win this would be for Tamina, not only would that uh, kind of throw her name back in Divas Championship contention, but it would probably put a bit more pressure on their relationship between herself and Naomi as Tamina taken down there by Hurricane Rana by Sasha Banks. Banks now going to roll Tamina over. What she thinking about doing here? Shot to the midsection. Big kick there. Has Tamina back to her feet. So Sasha trying to fulfill her destiny as one of the fastest rising stars here in the Divas division. And a shot there to the, the nose of Tamina by a couple of strikes by Sasha Banks. Now that boot right into the chin of Tamina. So Sasha Banks, she's in control of this matchup right now. Very, very impressive is the word that you have to use for Sasha. She just keeps on finding a way to win. And she keeps bringing out new moves every week. We see something a little different from her. Keeping us on our toes, I suppose, as now Sasha Banks taking an opportunity to take a bit of a breather. And she'll pay the price, it seems. Her leg is swept, and she's been swept off her feet there by Tamina Snooker. As Tamina taken down again by Sasha, who... That's the thing with Tamina. She can't continue to build momentum. She gets a couple of good moves in, but she can't sustain it. She can't keep it going to lead her to a victory. Sasha Banks now trying to make Tamina pay the price. And she's going to pick her up. Went for a scoop slam. Missing. Neckbreaker instead by Tamina. Takes down Sasha. Now, Tamina's got Sasha back up to her feet again. Here comes Tamina. Here we go. What she's setting up here. Oh, counted into a DDT. Thought she was going to set her up for a powerball or something like that. Instead, she gets counted into a DDT. Things are not looking good right now for Tamina. Sasha Banks with a DDT of her own again. So Sasha Banks, she has Tamina right where she wants her. A huge opening right now. Can she win this matchup? She might be setting her up. Setting her up for a big move. Here we go. Sasha Banks turns Tamina around. Oh, the backstabber. The backstabber there by Sasha Banks on Tamina. The cover. And she's done it. Naomi cannot believe it. But it's the backstabber that wins the matchup here tonight for Sasha Banks. What a win there for Sasha. And that will send a huge message. To Naomi heading in towards payback that Sasha Banks is indeed ready for this opportunity. She's ready to become a Divas Champion for the first time 
in her career. But 10 out champion Naomi hold on to that title that she's been working so hard to achieve. But now she's kind of just going to do whatever it takes. She's aligning herself with whoever she needs to align herself with to make sure that she has that title. I think she's scared of Sasha Banks. I think she fears Sasha Banks. Fears the unknown that is Sasha Banks. We don't know much about Sasha just yet, but what we do know is that she's willing to fight and she's willing to do whatever it takes. And tonight, she had to beat T Tamina despite Naomi watching ringside, but she was able to send a big message to Naomi here tonight. What a win here for Sasha Banks. As we get ready to move on to our main event here tonight, it's gonna to be Rusev versus Dolph Ziggler. Sasha Banks defeats Tamina here tonight. Naomi, be ready. Sasha Banks is coming for the Divas Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event. And what a main event it is going to be. Rusev, one-on-one -on -one with Dolph Ziggler. An opportunity now for Rusev to become a champion for the first time here in Universe Mode. He would love to become the next United States Champion and he has the opportunity here tonight to do so. If he can beat Dolph Ziggler, he will get himself a matchup at payback for the United States Championship. Rusev recently aligned himself with none other than the Raw General Manager, The Rock, and he's been doing the dirty work for The Rock in recent weeks and he's looking to keep his relationship with The Rock very strong. What a win it would be for Rusev and what it would do for his career. Doing the deed for the general manager, getting it done for him. Rusev's career could be skyrocketed. The Rock believes Dolph Ziggler doesn't deserve to be the next main eventer, but he believes Rusev does. That's why Rusev has been getting this huge opportunity here tonight. And here we go, Dolph Ziggler, our United States Champion. Here he comes. What a battle this is going to be for Ziggler. One last match he has to win to get his WWE Championship matchup. He only has to get through Rusev tonight. He's done it once before. Can he do it again? Ziggler, if he can beat Rusev, will join Triple H and Dean Ambrose for the WWE Championship at Payback. Ziggler just has to win one more contest. He had to beat Kane. He did that. He had to beat Cesaro. He did that. Now, he has to beat Rusev. Can he do it? Tonight we're about to find out. Ziggler, if he loses, that title around his waist could be gone as he has to defend against Rusev at payback. So we'll find out how exactly Ziggler fares here tonight. Here we go. This one is underway. Rusev and Ziggler. Ziggler has the arm of Rusev early on as Lana, of course, ringside for this one as well. You have to you have to get the feeling that Lana could pay could perhaps play some kind of, of an impact in this matchup. She could have a part to say, and that would be very devastating to see Ziggler's dream be washed away by the hands of Lana. You know, The Rock, for the last number of weeks, or perhaps the last number of months, has been trying to stack the deck against Dolph Ziggler and make things very, very difficult for Ziggler. And it's been a little bit unfair, and many believe The Rock has gone too far. But tonight, we find out if Ziggler can overcome The Rock's challenge here tonight. And what a challenge it's been. Three of Raw's best he's had to get through. He's had to go through the veteran of Kane and our tag team champion, of course. Then Cesaro, former tag team champion, former United States champion in his own right. And now tonight, against the super athlete of Rusev. And, of course, Lana ringside as well. So we just get the feeling that Lana will get herself involved at some stage. Hopefully the referee can minimize her impact because it would definitely be a shame to see this match be determined by Lana. And anyways, Rusev right now has a hold of Ziggler. And Ziggler counters Rusev. And that's what Ziggler's been all about. He's been able to find a way to beat everybody. Finds a way to counter their best moves. He knows a way to get out of every single predicament. He's so difficult to beat. And you look at the names that he's beaten it's just a, such an impressive resume. He's the longest reigning champion in Universe Mode history. Longest reigning United States champion of all time here in Universe Mode. He has done everything in his power to really stake his claim to be the next big thing here on Raw. And Ziggler, well, the only thing really stopping him is not somebody in the ring. It's somebody behind the scenes. And his name is The Rock, who has it out for Dolph Ziggler. And to me, I think it's just jealousy. You know, The Rock was proven wrong all this time. The Rock's been trying to tell everyone who will listen that Ziggler does not belong. He does not deserve that title. He does not deserve to be a WWE Champion. And instead, 
you know, Ziggler just keeps on proving The Rock wrong. At WrestleMania, when they went one-on-one, -on -one, Ziggler beat The Rock. And did Ziggler get his title shot? No. Did Ziggler... Well, Ziggler was about to get his title shot at Extreme Rules, and Rusev came out and attacked Ziggler, costing him his opportunity in The Rock, deeming that Ziggler was unable to compete on that occasion. Now Ziggler, instead of getting his fair opportunity again, he has to earn it once again, and here tonight, he has to beat Rusev. Rusev back to his feet now by the hands of Dolph Ziggler, but Rusev takes down Ziggler, so back and forth between the two, and obviously a couple of encounters between each other now, so they will definitely know each other's game inside and out. Rusev now perhaps looking for a pinfall, no instead picks up Ziggler and a big stiff kick to the back of Dolph Ziggler. And now Rusev is just looking to do a bit of a beatdown on Dolph perhaps, and I guess if worse comes to worse, if Rusev can't beat Dolph tonight, Rusev will need to make sure that he can, at least takes down Ziggler and takes him out of the equation again at uh, the payback pay view. Definitely Dolph Ziggler will be watching his back this time, that's for sure. He will make sh he'll probably be walking to the ring backwards. He'll be watching behind himself. He'll have eyes in the back of his head. And Ziggler almost gets a count of three there on Rusev. Just gets the two counts. So Ziggler will be watching himself at all times to make sure that he does get his fair opportunity. With that title and a super kick there by Rusev. Down goes Ziggler. Opportunity now for Rusev. Going for the cover. Hooks the leg. Rusev to beat Ziggler. And he kicks out. Not yet though for Rusev. It's early days in this one. And Ziggler has been nearly impossible to beat for the past, well nearly the past year. You know, his rise to the top has been so impressive. You know, he's held that title since SummerSlam of last year. And nobody's really looked like beating Ziggler for it. I think Ziggler, his biggest challenge has been Rusev. And now Rusev against the ropes. Ziggler tried to pick him up for a suplex instead. Rusev counters and slams him down. And he's feeling pretty confident about himself right now. Waiting for Ziggler to get back to his feet. He has a hold of him. And here we go. Picks him again this time. Ziggler counters into a DDT. And the crowd liked that one. We thought Ziggler might have been in a bit of trouble. And how about that super kick? Well, what you can do, I can do better, says Dolph Ziggler. And that's what the show off is all about. But Lana distracting the referee. And we knew she was going to get herself involved. And she's distracting the ref, making sure that he can't get the cover and pin Rusev for the count of three. Rusev and Ziggler now just throwing bombs at each other. And a steel chair has been introduced into this match. Of course, disqualifications do count. But Lana, she put the chair in place. And Lana trying to get the uh, the attention of Ziggler, but it's not exactly working. Ziggler is not buying any of it. He's ignoring her, and not many men ignore Lana. So Ziggler, that just goes to show he's all focused about becoming the champion. Wait a minute, see? Oh, wait a minute! Rusev with a steel chair! Dan and Dolph Ziggler, Lana distract the referee, and Rusev used the steel chair. Well, come on, ref. You, you cannot ignore that. Surely he would have seen that. Rusev blatantly cheating. And is this the way it's going to be? Rusev is going to cheat his way to victory here tonight. But Ziggler, despite taking the steel chair shot, he's still going. And he's going to take a, a breather? No, he's not. He's going to look at that announce table. Well, watch out, because that table, I think, is going to be used very, very soon. Rusev trying to make sure he doesn't go through the table. Oh, launches Ziggler. Well, he, geez, if he had it did that the other way, I think that would have been enough, um, you know, enough force to put Ziggler through that table there. Hold on a second. Ziggler has Rusev. He picks him up. He puts him on the table. Gives him a right hand. And Ziggler, oh, he's about, he's about to fly. Ziggler is about to fly off the top rope. Here he goes. The elbow off the top rope. Ziggler risking it all. But that's what the... That's what it's all about. That's the name of the game. It's about becoming a WWE Champion. And the only way to do that is by beating Rusev tonight. And an elbow off the top will certainly contribute to Rusev's downfall. But it is Rusev back to his feet. A count of four by the referee. A count out to Rusev will get him the win and get him to pay that. And it will cost Ziggler an opportunity at the title. Count of six now. Ziggler's got to get back in the ring. Count of seven. Count of eight, no. Ziggler back into the count of seven. He's still in it. 
And the referee just saw the steel chair. He got rid of it about time. Jeez, this referee is slow. Who's paying these guys? They are absolutely atrocious. Now, Rusev and Ziggler. Ziggler trying to go after Rusev. And he gets a couple of elbow shots to the nose for his worries. And a shot to the back of Rusev now by Dolph. Here comes Dolph Ziggler again. What's he thinking about now? Going to go for a side suplex. He connects. Well connected suplex there by Ziggler. And an elbow, elbow drop for good measure as well. And Ziggler showing off a little bit. Oozing confidence in this one. And why wouldn't he be? He's got Rusev right where he wants him. You think, you know, he, he's taking him down off the top rope with that elbow drop through the table. And Ziggler gets the shoulder up on that occasion. And it has been back and forth, but you just get the feeling Ziggler's about to break away in this one. Rusev has to be very, very careful. And a drop kick there by Ziggler. A gorgeous drop kick. And that's what Ziggler can do. Has Rusev back to his feet now. And he'll send Rusev into the corner. What's Ziggler thinking about doing? Gets counted. Not going to work on this occasion. Ziggler again. Suplexes Rusev. So Ziggler may not be the biggest man, but he's been able to show off his strength here and continues to throw Rusev around. Perhaps just as much as Rusev's been throwing him around. And that's one of the things Ziggler's been able to do is just keeps advancing and, and, and learning new tricks of the trade. He's been able to keep himself fresh and make sure that uh, his opponents don't learn the ways to beat him. He keeps finding new moves to use to make sure he wins this matchup. Shoulders down at the suplex. And hang on a second. Lana grabs the foot of the referee and she's saying she didn't do it. Well, clearly she did, unless the referee is that much of an idiot and he slides out of the ring on his own accord. But hey, I wouldn't put it past him, but Lana making her presence felt in this one. And the referee still hasn't ejected her from this match. Perhaps the referee is on The Rock's payroll as well. Well, that extra payroll on the side I'm talking about. Perhaps he gave him a boat or a new shiny car. Who knows? But he's going to do whatever it takes to make sure that Ziggler does not win here tonight. Ziggler setting him up. I thought he was going to go for the zigzag. Rusev counters, though. And Ziggler counters Rusev. And again, the leg sweep. Down goes Ziggler. So just when you thought Ziggler was going to put Rusev away. Rusev's able to fight back in it. Ziggler now coming after Rusev once again, and a snap suplex. And Ziggler, you can see the effects of this match is getting to him. How much more does Ziggler have left in the tank? After a brutal beatdown at Extreme Rules, two hellacious matches, two weeks in a row. Ziggler, he's fighting on fumes right now, but he's still going. Hook of the leg now on Rusev, and oh geez, that was close. Very, very close to the count of three. And Ziggler cannot believe it. He thought for a moment that he had his dream fulfilled. That he was finally going to get that title shot. Ziggler now puts Rusev into the corner. And again, Rusev scouts him out. Hasn't worked out all successfully here for, Ru for Ziggler, I should say. And again, Ziggler going to hit that suplex. Doing everything he can to take down Rusev and to keep him down, which is such a... Which is such a difficult thing to do. And a power slam as well. Ziggler fighting and fighting here. As Rusev backed up to his feet now. Ziggler going to go for another suplex. Gets blocked there by Rusev. And he gets taken down with a suplex by Rusev. Picks Ziggler up. Rusev. Oh, another super kick. Super kick there to Dolph Ziggler. That's going to be it. Rusev's got the match won. Rusev, super kick, the cover, and he got it, no he didn't, not yet for Rusev, and he cannot believe it, how the hell did Ziggler kick out of that, a super kick that almost floored Ziggler, and almost kept him down for good, but Rusev, he is livid, he thought he had the match won, but he still has to keep on going, who is going to buckle first? Who is going to make a mistake that could cost them this match? That's what the only way I can really see this one ending. Who's going to run out of gas? Who's going to make a mistake? And who is going to be left laying on their back looking up at the lights? We're about to find out soon. You would assume not much left from these two competitors after this hellacious battle that they're going through right now. Ziggler again picks up Rusev and takes him down. Ziggler's still going. What's Rusev to get back to his feet? 
He's going to take down the leg. He's going to turn into a half crab. Here we go. A submission hold by Ziggler. We don't see this too often unless it's the sleeper hole. But Ziggler bringing out all the stops to try and make Rusev tap out here and win this matchup. But Rusev powers out. And now Ziggler has a hold of Rusev. No, gets counted. Rusev takes him down. Back to his feet now. And Ziggler this time gets a hold of Rusev. Ziggler. As Rusev sends him down. And Ziggler, here he comes. Launches himself at Rusev and snapping the neck back. Now Ziggler stomps away on Rusev. Gets Rusev back to his feet. And now, here we go. Sleeper hold applied. We talked about it a moment ago. And now Ziggler is looking to put Rusev away. Will Rusev tap? And no. He breaks it up. Perhaps his grip was slipping or something like that. But Ziggler couldn't get the win there. Rusev still in it. And now Rusev with that backbreaker. Brutal backbreaker there by Rusev. And now this could be enough to put Ziggler away. Two. Oh, wait a sec. The referee, his hand hit the mat for three. But he says it was only two. Well, what is going on there? The referee said Rusev had it won. But Rusev, he can't believe it. He, he heard three, so he thought he had it won. But in the end, it was only two. Very, very close there. And now Rusev shrugs off Ziggler. Is that going to be a moment that defines this matchup and changes the course of it for good? Ziggler face first. Down goes Rusev. And now what is Dolph Ziggler thinking about? That is maybe looking towards that top rope, decides against it. And now... He wants Rusev to get back to his feet. Talking a bit of trash to Rusev as well. Here we go, Ziggler. Right hand there by Rusev. Rusev trying to fend off Ziggler for as long as he can. Into the corner goes Ziggler. Rusev this time uses the corner effectively. And a German suplex as well. Oh, that was vicious. He landed on the back of his neck. And that was not exactly very pleasant for Dolph Ziggler and this could be enough to put him away now what's Rusev thinking about but he gets counted and now Ziggler hook of the leg he's gonna try whatever it takes to win this one count of two and he kicks out not over yet for Dolph Ziggler who thought he perhaps had him won and now Ziggler and Rusev back to their feet now both men what's the next move who is going to have the next big move I think that's what it's gonna take one more big move to win this matchup Ziggler now Suplex, that might be the one we're talking about. And now Ziggler, he's going to go to the top rope. We saw the elbow drop earlier on. Is he going to go for it again? Ziggler, off the top rope. Here we go. Rusev gets out of the way with the counter. Rolls out of harm's way. And now, hold on a second. Alabama, slam. And that might be it. Rusev, Alabama, slam. Two and three, Rusev wins. Rusev has pulled off the upset and Dolph Ziggler will have to wait a little longer. That title shot, it's not coming anytime soon. This time, Ziggler will be defending the United States Championship against Rusev at payback. What a win there and what a match between these two men. They went and threw everything at each other and there was some controver controversial decisions involved. There was some cheating involved. It had a bit of everything. But in the end, it was one mistake. One mistake by Dolph Ziggler. Here he was earlier on. That elbow dropped through the table. One of the highlights of this one. But here it goes. Ziggler off the top. Launching himself at Rusev. Rusev got out of the way. Picked him up. And here it was. The Alabama Slam. And that was all she wrote for Ziggler. And Rusev now gets himself a title shot at payback. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe it, but Dolph Ziggler just cannot do it. He will have to wait a little longer as Rusev has done the deed for The Rock. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again for joining us for another episode of Universe Mode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. It'd be great. Let's try and hit eight likes. That's right, eight likes. If we can hit that, I will upload another episode of Universe Mode for you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the website, BrendanBlaze.com, for all the Raw and SmackDown previews, plus everything to do with Payback. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next episode. Well played there by the Knicks. And Anthony again. Anthony makes the steal. Grant finishes it. One-point game.